Plus tutorials. So let me quickly explain how this video operates. Step one, I ask the exercise question. You as a student, pauses the video and attempts the question. Step two, continue the video. And again, I'll provide a hint to the how to answer the question. You pause and complete the question of the exercise as appropriate. And then step three, continue to play the video. The answer is provided with a worked explanation. Step four, continue the video to the next question and the process, of course, continues. So here we have the first question. A resistor has the following color bands. Band one is red, band two is red, band 3 is brown, and the far band is gold. What is the resistor's value? So you pause here, and then I'll give you a hint in a moment. So here's the hint. It's a three-band resistor with a fourth band to tell you the tolerance. So what we've got is a 22 ohms times 10 to the 1, or 220 ohms. How did we uh, get to that? Let's just turn on our pen. And uh, we've been told it's red, red. So we've got first band red, second band red, and the multiplier is brown meaning we have to multiply by 10 or add a zero. So that's why I've put here 10 to the one, because that just means add a zero. So we've got 22 plus a zero gives us 220 ohms. And the band that we were to use was 5% gold, giving us this band here. So 22 ohms at five percent. Question two is a resistor has the following color bands of orange, orange and green. The far band is red. So again, what is the resistor color? Again, same hint. It's a three band resistor with the fourth band telling you the tolerance. So here we've got uh, two oranges. So again, let's turn on the pen. So orange and orange tells us we've got a 33. And the green tells us that we have to add five zeros or 10 to the five. So we've got our 33. And we've added one, two, three, four, five zeros. So we've ended up with 3,300,000 ohms. The red tells us it's 2%. We could have also written it as 3M3 at 2% or 3.3 mega ohms. So let's try one more, a three Question three, a resistor has the following band colors. Band one is green, band two is blue, band three is black, and the far band, band four, is silver. Our hint again, three band resistor with the fourth band. Of time, this time there is times 10 to the zero, is our multiplier. Our multiplier is black, which means that we don't add any zeros. So again, five and a six. Our multiplier is zero, so we don't add any zeros, giving us 56 ohms, and the silver telling us it's at 10 percent. 
Question four, what are the band colors for 68,000 ohms or 68K ohms at 2%? Again, three band resistor with our fourth band being tolerance. So six and eight. Blue representing six. Gray representing eight and had to be in the thousands so 68k would have given us an orange I think we've made a little mistake here on the things this should have been an orange give us a multiplier of three and our tolerance would be red. Question five, what is the tolerance range of a 12,000 ohm resistor at plus or minus 10%? So here's the hint, uh, you need to find what 10% of the resistor value is. So you need to find 10% of 12K ohms. So how does that tell us or help us with the, uh, the range? Here's the answer. So our 12K, 10% of that, is simply 12k divided by 100 giving us 120 ohms, 120R is 10%. So the upper end is to take the nominal value and add 120 giving us 12,120. The lower end of the range is to take the nominal, subtract 120 giving us 11,080 ohms. So there's the tolerance range. Question six, a resistor has a range of 4,794 to 4,606 ohms. What is the nominal value and its percent tolerance? So pause here. Here's the hint, find the center between the two values. That will be the nominal value, the center between the two values, and then use that to work out everything else. So here's our answer. So a little bit convoluted, so let me explain the answer. It's, it's just common sense. So the nominal value is going to be the center. So if I take the difference between 4794 and 4606, and then I divide that by two, so this, this gives me the difference between the upper and lower range. Half the difference gives me the center. So now I have a center value. And then either take the bottom and add the value or take the top and subtract the value it doesn't matter I've taken the bottom and added the value and if you do that you'll get an answer of 4700 ohms or 4k7 so that's told us the nominal value now simply if we take let's say the upper value and subtract the nominal divided by the nominal multiplied by 100 
that's going to give us the tolerance percent. So I've just taken the 4794, subtracted 4700, and divided it by the top of the nominal value at 4700, and multiplied by 100 on one to put it in percent. That gives us 94, divided by 4700 is the nominal value, multiplied by 100 on one, so we now know that our resistor is 2%. So it's a 4K7 resistor at 2%. So using the response graph or curve provided there on the screen, determine the resistance when the input is 8 and the required input to achieve 80 ohms. So looking for two answers using the graph in two or different ways. So here's the, ha here's the hint. Use the uh, graph curve to project the required values. So let's have a look at the answer. So the first one was to take 8 and find the projected answer. So on our curve here, we've simply found 8. There's 8 on the horizontal, the input. And we've projected it up till it hits the curve. And then where it hits the curve, we've simply projected across to the horizontal. And that's at about 55 ohms, which is the answer. If you got a little bit 54, you got 53, it doesn't matter. It's an approximation from the curve. Now the other way around, we have to, uh, what, will, what will 80 ohms give us? So this time we're doing the same process, but the opposite direction. So take 80 ohms and project it across to where it hits the curve. and hits the curve just outside the 15. Then we project down. And if we project down, we're going to hit the bottom scale at approximately 16.5. Question 8. Three kilometres of cable has a resistance of 30 ohms. What is the resistance of a 500 metre length of the same cable? So three kilometres of cable has a resistance of 30 ohms, what's the resistance for only 500 metres? So here's a hint. Work out what the, how many ohms per metre there are first, then use that information to then calculate what 500 metres would give you. Okay, let's move on to the answer. So let's look at our little formula here carefully. It's just a little bit of common sense. Here I've worked out the ohms per metre. So I know I have 30 ohms of value and it's spread over 3000 metres. So I've got to take 30 and divide it by 3000 to give me ohms per metre. When I do that, I get a value of 0.01 ohms per metre. So now I know how many ohms there are in one metre. That's 0.01. So I simply take my 500 metre length, and which I have here. So 500 metres is going to be worth multiplied by 0.01. So I take my ohms per metre, which is this one here, Multiply it by 500 tells me I'm going to have 500 ohms over a 500 metre length. Question 9. A copper wire is 800 metres long and has a resistance of 6 ohms. So what would be the length of the same wire with a resistance of 16 ohms. Very similar to the previous question, except we're going the other way around. Pause here.
Here's the hint. This time, work out the, uh, the metres per ohm. So this time, work out the metres per ohm first. So here's the answer. We're working out the ohms per metre. So it's the same approach as the previous question. The ohms per metre, we're simply taking the 800 metres and we're dividing it by 6 because we know it's 6 ohms. So we know that for every 1 ohm, we're going to get 133.33 metres. So every 1 ohm, we get 333 metres because it's the ohms per metre. So our length is going to be our ohms per metre multiplied by 16 ohms this time. So if our copper wire was 16 ohms in value at, one point, at 133 metres per ohm, we're going to end up with 2,133 metre length of cable. Question 10, calculate the resistance of a copper conductor that is 400 metres long with a cross-sectional area of 8 times 10 to the minus 1 millimetres squared and the productivity or the row of copper is 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8 ohms per metre. So here's our hint. The formula we're looking for is R equals rho L on A, or R equals, we'll call it small p, times the length divided by the area. So all we need to do is to substitute in the values into the equation. So let's make sure we've uh, got that done properly. So the 1.72 is the resistivity of copper, which is this one here. We know we have a length of 400 metres. And remember, we want the cross-sectional area of the copper and cross-sectional area they told us that was 8 times 10 to the minus 1 another way of expressing that would be 0 0.8 of a millimeter squared so to convert millimeter squared we would have to either say 0.8 times 10 to the minus 6, or we can simply say 8 times 10 to the minus 7. So it was important we get this into the right value to make sure this was 8 times 10 to the minus 7, because we need to get this into metres squared, because we were actually given it in millimetres squared. So having got the right values into the right order, we simply do the mathematics, and in this particular case, we come out with 8.6 ohms. Question 11, calculate the resistance of a nichrome conductor that's 100 metres long with a cross-sectional area of 0 0.0001 millimetres, sorry, metres squared and a resistivity of 44 times 10 to the minus 8. So here's the hint, R equals rho multiplied by length divided by the area. Same equation as last time. So pause here and do the calc if you haven't already. So here's the calc. This time it's a little more straightforward because the Units are already in the right values. The resistivity for nichrome is 44 times 10 to the minus 8. We know we have a length of 100, and we know our cross-sectional area is 0.000011 metres squared. So 
it's already in meters squared so we can just punch that straight into the formula and do the maths we get 4.0 ohms our final question for this series number 12 calculate the hot resistance of an element which has a resistance of 60 ohms at 50 degrees Celsius what is the resistance at 400 degrees Celsius the elements thermal coefficient is 0.003 of an ohm for every degree C change Hint, remember we're looking for resistance change which equals the uh, temperature difference multiplied by the coefficient. So pause here if you need to. And finally let's do the maths. Um, we are going from 50C to 400. So 400 minus 50 gives us a temperature difference. For every single one of those degrees, there was a 0.003 degree change, which means we had a 1.5 ohm change for the whole complete difference. So all we need to do was to take the resistance at our 50 ohms of, at 50 degrees, I should say, which was 60 ohms and add the difference so we started at 60 and that was uh, at 50 degrees then we went up to 400 so we went up by 1.05 degrees so the finished resistance is going to be 61.05 ohms so that ends our exercise tutorial i hope you've enjoyed uh, lesson five and the exercise tutorials.